Hey guys, this is Pixel Fiend Tech here, and today we have a review of this bad boy, the Apple iPad Mini First Generation. Of course, first generation, as there is at the moment no iPad 2, but everyone knows that's going to be happening soon. Okay, so in this review, as a usual review kind of style, I will start off with the cons, i.e. the bad points, finish off on a nice note with the pros, i.e. the good points. Okay, so the first point that I was a bit disappointed about on this tablet was the screen. Now, although this is a good screen from Apple, and the depth of colour is fairly good, it's just not nearly as sharp as the newer iPhones and... Well, just the iPhone 5 and the newer iPads, and also, say, the MacBook Retina displays. It's just, this tablet has a good display, but you can still make out pixels, and especially when you see, for example, a curved edge, you do certainly notice a difference between it and some of the newer Apple devices that have the full Retina display. The second con is the processor in this. Now, again, it's not a bad processor. It still is a fairly fast device, but if you compare it to some of the other things Apple have made, it just doesn't match up. This has the same processor as the iPad 2. Now if you think back, the iPad 2 was released quite a while ago, and you think Apple would be wanting to put more advanced technology into their devices like this, so I was a bit disappointed about that. Though overall, I would say the performance of this tablet is very good. Now, actually, that is the end of it for the cons. Um, so, let's head over to the pros. First pro, simply, comes with all Apple products, is the iOS experience. Personally, I love um, the iOS operating system. I think it works perfectly. And, personally, I just think, compared to Google, um, no, sorry, Android, and especially Windows 8, iOS takes the biscuit for me. You also have um, just the brilliant ecosystem with my iPhone and just iTunes in general. I love it. The second pro of this device is the looks. I've definitely liked a lot of the um, new looks on some of the Apple products. This slate finish I th it's it's one of the best design tablets I've seen. I just love everything about the looks. It is a beautiful device. The second pro is typing. Now, I will just show you here. If I head over to notes, now you see I was doing a few type tests here before. Now, if you have it um, portrait ways like this, you can still type quite happily with your thumbs. And then, if you decide you want to type keyboard style, you can still do it, though obviously it's not as easy this way. But if you do it this way, you can see my thumbs happily cross. I can still happily type. And then, if I... Okay, that's a bit odd. But, um, if I go to keyboard kind of style, like you would do on a laptop or a PC, it works perfectly as well. This tablet, just the 7 inch form factor of this tablet makes doing typing and other tasks like that brilliant. And that brings us straight on to the next pro, which is the size of this tablet. Personally, since this tablet is smaller and therefore more portable and things like that than the iPad, um, that's obviously an advantage. But the screen isn't unbelievably smaller because you think on an iPad the screen has almost an inch between the edge of the screen and the edge of the tablet. Whereas here you have under a centimetre. So that is certainly something to think about. Because when you're compromising the size of the tablet, you may not be compromising the size of the screen as much. Now obviously the display is smaller, but it's not small enough that it's bad. When watching movies and stuff, I don't find it um, bad at all, but yet it's still good, um, still big enough, sorry, um, it's still a nice enough size, is what I mean to say, to play games like, for example, Subway Surfer on an iPad, you've got to reach your thumbs right across and it just doesn't work as well. But an iPad Mini, you can happily hold it in one hand and just flick things about. 
Okay, I'm struggling to unlock it with one hand, but um, say for example if I do go onto Subway Surfer, I can quite easily play it with one hand. That is it for my iPad Mini review. Personally, I think there, well, as you heard, there are a lot more pros than cons to this device, though buying it now might not be the cleverest idea as an iPad Mini 2 is imminent. Now, if you don't want the iPad Mini 2, still wait for it to come, um, come out, because when the iPad Mini 2 comes out, the price of this bad boy will probably drop dramatically. Though I would still highly recommend getting it as it is a brilliant tablet, beautifully designed and, to be honest, you can't go too far wrong with Apple. I know I sound like a bit of a fanboy, but trust me, I'm not. I had um, an Android phone for the past two years and I, I like the Android experience, but this iPad mini is personally one of my favourite tablets on the market. So guys, that's the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Also, head over to Facebook and Twitter. My names are on screen and I'll also put links down in the description. If you've got any questions you would like to ask, please leave a comment or email me at the address on screen. Thanks for watching. See you.